What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Aha, uh -huh. and we're returning once again to their Scoundrel Days album, 1986, uh, their second studio album. Uh, so we're up to a tune called Manhattan Skyline. Um, I find it immediately visually evocative. Um, I'm, I'm from California. I've lived in California my whole life. Um, I live pretty near LA, so you know, when I was going to rave parties and punk shows and so on as a teen in my 20s and so on, um, I spent a lot of time in LA. I had been to uh, New York, I think, but it was once like on a fly through. Like I think I was in um, LaGuardia or something and then we flew out. So um, I've never really spent any time there. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm very familiar with the appearance of the sort of New York skyline, and in particular Manhattan, where many of the sort of uh, biggest and most um, affluent um, districts in New York City um, are located, the skyline has a certain aesthetic quality. Now, you know, I suppose it depends on how you feel about, like, urban um, visual um, landscapes, the way in which, you know, do... Um, skyscrapers look uh, visually appealing to you or not. Um, some people, you know, think perhaps they're indicative of, you know, problems associated with urban environments and so on. But I do think aesthetically and visually um, they can look very stunning, whether it's daytime or night, perhaps particularly at night. Um, and indeed, I think there is a, you know, decades-long history of postcards featuring the Manhattan skyline. So it's certainly like a resonant image with people, I think, around the world. Obviously, you know, New York along with, you know, London, Paris, Tokyo, and so on. Um, you know, Delhi, or New Delhi, I should say. Um, you know, it's one of the biggest and most notable and well-known cities around the world. Um, and again, I think part of the allure is the size, the scope, the scale um, and the sort of, you know, never-ending energy and activity, meaning it's, it's one of the cities that's known as a city that never sleeps. Um, you know, three, four in the morning, doesn't matter. There's thousands of people about, lights on everywhere, cars moving, um, subways running, and so on. Um, so the, the Manhattan skyline, I think, is one of the more well-known skylines in the world. Perhaps as a general concept or sort of a metaphor, it could be seen as like, um, indicative of the most grand scales and um, aesthetic creations that humans um, manufacture and uh, put together when they come together in large groupings. Perhaps, you know, um, maybe it's not so much about humanity per se, but like the particular environment of New York and, you know, the skyline versus maybe what's happening on the ground. Again, I suppose it could go any number of ways, and that is the thing when um, the phrase is either a single word or, in this case, a simple phrase, which, you know, the skyline is a, a common noun, but Manhattan, once again, it's a proper noun, so um, it's a bit tougher to get a read beyond, um, you know, the number of possibilities, meaning there's no indication to me necessarily which one, if any of those, uh, might be relevant. And indeed, as I've often said, and, you know, if anyone has seen this reaction before, seeing some of my earlier AHA reactions, um, when I react to a tune that, by all um, knowledge, um, I've never heard before, I just like to think about the title for a little bit. It just helps my brain get working, and eventually, if I hear a lyric that maybe relates to some um, idea or theme that I considered, it's much more readily um, interpretable to my brain. So, in any case, let's get it. This is AHA from their album Scoundrel Days, 1986, and the tune is Manhattan Skyline. Ooh. Ranger, I'm already like. We sit and watch umbrellas fly. I'm trying All to keep my news paper dry. I hear myself say, My birds leaving now. See his voice up there with the bass down below. Forget about it.
started, I did not think we'd be here. songs I've heard in the last couple months. Uh, I need people to truly appreciate my meaning. Um, that's remarkable. Um, I think that's my favorite song on this album so far. Um, again, it's like difficult because each one has been such like a journey and including like journeys of very different character. Um, but yeah, I gotta say of the you know handful that I've listened to so far on Scoundrel Days, that probably is my favorite. That's unbelievable. Like, again, it started very sort of melodic and floating in his voice and I was gonna say oh it's such a gorgeous tune and then boom in comes some guitar in comes some power in comes the insistence that like I don't want to cry again I don't want to say goodbye um, so despite you know wave goodbye and it was sort of like I'm getting a sense of where the song's going and then it launches into that second section and then it's just like between his voice between the sort of like powerful bass chords that would like roll through in some sections the the synths again there was like a harpsichord layer um it's just unbelievable and it wasn't just the elements it's like the composition the progression of the tune um the sort of like the percussive writing so that it wasn't just like a simple standard like beat like every bar every bar there was like variation like you know eccentricity at the like measure and bar changes uh unbelievable so yeah that is a top tune even by their standards which i'm already realizing are very very high so um yeah shout out to that song do let me know if you feel similarly let me know if that's one that you really enjoy 
Um, again, shout out to the, all the AHA people out there. I really do appreciate you. Um, not only people who've just found my channel, but I do also want to give a shout out to people who've come over here after watching reactions to other groups. And indeed, a couple of you um, who've been following the Duran reactions, you were the people who um, suggested, as well as I should say Han Solo, who he doesn't so much follow the Duran reactions, but more like Erasure um, and Yazoo and some Depeche Mode and so on. Um, I think Exciter is his favorite album. Um, he'll kill me for saying that. But uh, no, seriously, um, shout out to not only the new people, but also to the people who've come from other reactions that I've done um, to appreciate and enjoy AHA along with me. So big ups to all of you. Big ups to the group. Shout out to Manhattan Skyline. What a tune. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.